Okay, this is a more difficult question. It says, again, without differentiating, they don't want us to differentiate these things. Write down the maximum value of this over here. All right? Now, granted, I'm not going to say it's an easy question, but let, let's go through it at the whiteboard as maybe the way your teachers may have presented to you in a, um, in a uh, pre-calculus course, no calculus involved. All right, so this is B. And what am I given? I'm given cosine of 2x plus 30 degrees times, and then it's 1 minus cosine 2x plus 30 degrees. All right? One thing I would do is I would make a substitution, make it a little bit easier for me, and u is going to be equal to the cosine of 2x plus 30 degrees. All right? So let me write this down now. It's going to be a little bit easier to write this down. u, and then I get 1 minus u. Well, this thing's a function of u now, and it's a parabola. And what's that probably going to be? u minus u squared. If you were to graph that parabola out, by the way, oh, by the way, u has got to be between minus 1 and 1. It can't, it can't go beyond that, all right? So let me, let me graph my parabola out. And I'm going to say, you know, x-intercepts would be at uh, 0 and 1. This is 1. And it's a downward-facing parabola like this over here. And what's the maximum going to be? Right over here. And that would be u equals 1 half. All right, when u equals 1 half, that's the maximum value of that. It's, a, it's, the, it's just the vertex of it. All right, what would the maximum value be? Well, let's write this down. f of 1 half would be equal to 1 half. And then 1 minus 1 half is 1 half again, so it's 1 quarter. So I'm going to say the maximum over here, it's, again, it has to occur between uh, minus 1. By the way, if you, if you, if you can about where minus 1 is over here, I'm going to say minus 1 is over here somewhere. I'll put the point down for you. It's, um, you know, minus 1. And this is where 1 is. And this point over here is 1, 0. This point is 0, 0. And this vertex over here is going to be um, 1 half, comma, 1 quarter. All right? So I'm going to say that function looks like this over here. For, for, when I say the function, this guy over here, um, the u value between those numbers. What's minus 1 produce? Well, it's going to be minus 1 um, and then times 2, so minus 2. All right? Now, granted, this is the maximum value. So the maximum for this thing over here, the max would be 1 quarter. If you're interested, though, in solving this thing over here, uh, which I'm going to say they didn't ask for it, but if you're interested, it's when that u is equal to 1 half. So you would write down 1 half is equal to cosine of 2x plus 30 degrees. Now, I want to remind you that the cosine function takes on half in two separate places, by the way. And it's going to be here and over there. And the bottom line is, what are those reference angles going to be? So if you thought about it, the reference triangle would be like this over here. This is cosine, by the way. And that's root 3. And that would be 60 degrees. All right? So in the first quadrant, I'll write this over here. The 2x plus 30 degrees would equal 60 degrees plus a repetition. The repetition is going to be 360 degree k. Now, if you go to the fourth quadrant, it still has a reference of 60, so it's going to be 2x plus 30. But if you're in the fourth quadrant, over here, by the way, it's 300 degrees plus 360 degree K. Again, they didn't ask you to do this, but I just want to go through it briefly with you. Uh, where do these maximums occur, by the way? It's going to be 2x equals 30 degrees plus 360 degree K. Again, K is some integer number. And let's keep going. 2x is equal to 270 degrees plus 360 degree k. Again, k is an integer. Divide through by, um, by 2, you get 15 degrees plus 180 degree k. And the other one's going to be x equals, well, 2 into one, uh, 270 is 135 degree and plus 180 degree k. And that's when that, those maximums occur, by the way. But again, the question is what the maximum? The maximum is a quarter. Thank you.